The new GX4 from Taurus coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at the new GX4 released just this week. It's ultra compact, super concealable. It's a carry gun and it is affordable. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I get it out to the range and hopefully help you decide if this is your new carry gun. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out. You know what I'm gonna say. There's gonna be a link in there for you to jump over to our website. Now, once you get on our website, look up above and down below. I say it every episode, but we have a lot in there to help you out in the bang department. So check it out and see what you think. Okay, so this is the new GX4. Like I opened with, it is specifically designed for concealed carry. So it is small, but the attractive thing is it holds 11 rounds and that is fantastic. Taurus has surged big time in the industry in recent years, partly because they're super affordable, but also because they run and they run great. And that lifetime warranty they come with doesn't hurt at all. Now, what it is, is a nine millimeter striker fired pistol. It's built on a stainless steel frame with a polymer grip. Now, overall, it is six inches long and has a three inch barrel, but it's only one inch wide, so you can hide it in your pants. Now, as far as ergonomics, I'm gonna call them okay. They feel good in the hand on day one, right out of the box. I think they feel okay. The grip is grippy and the slide is textured just enough for you to get a hold of it. The controls I'm gonna call fairly familiar, but that mag release is maybe just a little bit too shallow, but for a carry gun, smaller is better, I get it. But for me and my hands, maybe a little bit too shallow. Now there's also a loaded chamber indicator so you don't have to press check every time Time you pick it up. Now, as far as aesthetics, I think the GX4 on the slide is okay, and that finish is super nice. What it comes with is a pair of magazines and a plastic box, not bad at all. I think people will actually use this box. It's certainly better than those cardboard ones the Tauruses used to come with. Also included is a second back strap, so you can change out that palm swell. MSRP for the launch of this one is $392. But we're going to have to wait and see what the street price is going to be. It's certainly going to hit the market in the sweet spot of being inexpensive because that's what Taurus does. The sights are pretty standard, a box in the back and up front is a white dot. All right, let's get out to the range. For this test I used, any guesses? Yep, Russian steel cased ammo. Why? Because it is cheap but I also didn't hold back. I got a boatload of rounds on target. This thing shoots, I'm gonna say, not bad. It's way less snappy than I had anticipated, so at the range, not bad at all. The trigger, I'm gonna call all right. I actually kind of like it. My favorite is that shallow reset, and the trigger felt good to me at the range immediately. Accuracy wise, I did just fine for a small gun. This is from seven yards right out of the box. Center mass is super easy. I don't have a lot to report to you from the range. Several hundred rounds in and it ran great. It fed, it loaded, it did all of that just fine. It locked back on empty and if it ran this good with steel, I suspect that if and when brass ammo makes a comeback, it's gonna run even better. All right, let me tell you what I like. First, the texture on the grips is fantastic. Feels a lot to me like SIG grips. I think your hands are gonna be happy. Second, I love that the magazines are made by Metgar in Italy best magazines in the business. Third, I like the size, an inch wide is awesome. And finally, it's that 11 round capacity, solid y'all. As a carry gun, I think 11 rounds in this small of a package is the bee's knees. Now, as far as shortcomings, there's not a lot to complain about with the new GX4. 
The only thing for me, I really wish it came with a magazine that has a pinky extension. Taurus said they are gonna offer one. I just wish they offered one in the box. That's a small complaint, but for me, I do wish it had an extendo magazine for my little finger. And finally, this is not a negative. It's just something to be aware of. For the 10th time, if you've got big full-size hands, Remember, this gun is small, so you're gonna wanna practice with your grip. I had to adjust my regular grip. Don't shoot your thumbs off, y'all. Now, overall, I had a great time with the new GX4 from Taurus. It runs, it's inexpensive, and it is super, super concealable. I think Taurus has scored another hit with this one. The GX4, in my opinion, is a winner, big, big thumbs up for what it is. So if you pick one up, I do think you're gonna be happy. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny and we'll see you soon.